r slash ask reddit by ready reddit doctors and nurses of reddit who have delivered babies to mothers who clearly cheated on their husbands what was that like we had a very sweet blonde haired blue eyed mom and dad along with their entire extended family in the room for a delivery one busy afternoon at work think aunts uncles cousins grandma and grandpa too the baby is born and as the doctor places her on the mom's chest the first words out of her mouth are oh, that's not my baby that's not my baby the baby in question still attached at the umbilical cord has beautiful dark curly black hair and dark skin the nurse looks at her and tells her that this is definitely her baby because she's still attached to you and she not so quietly tells the nurse there's no way i never slept with a black man it's not mine the father is standing there silent not sure what to do a long awkward silence fills the room we clean her and baby up as cheerfully as we can we see the extended family filter out of the room and the father leave to get a cigarette about 10 minutes later a tall black guy walks up to our front desk asking how to get to the patient in questions room paramedic here our crew delivered a full birth in the back of our egg we have two paramedics in the back with a pt a driver and i'm working on the laptop listening to info they are telling me to add to the report all of a sudden it goes kind of quiet i hear the mother let out a very loud opu it's not white she was very white few more seconds of silence and i'm like question mark the driver alarm beeping light on the center console sent from a button in the back was pressed two times quickly generally meaning to turn around to get info for the report i turn from the front passenger seat to see a very dark skin colored baby i'm guessing cuban i can't see the mother's face but all i see is her shaking her head she begins to worry saying that her husband is meeting us there at the hospital he can't see this i just continue the report and i'm not sure what the problem is but i guess we'll see when we get there flash forward to the er we stop outside the ambulance bay i get out to open the doors and am met by another very white heavyset guy in a uniform shirt dress pants and glasses asked me if his wife was in there and she was in labor when he was coming home Hospital policy dictates that we can't have random people, that we can't confirm identity that close to the rig when opening doors for PT safety. Security is there quick, holds him back a bit. We open the doors, roll the PT and her newborn out. He takes one look, sees the color of the baby. Jaw drop, look of despair, like a 1000 yard stare. Even security had a look like, wow, that woman ducked up, and this guy knows it now wife babe i can explain every bit of this i know it looks weird but i can we wheel her into we are no sign of husband last i knew the husband didn't check into the hospital as a visitor i'm assuming he went home to pack his stuff i have a white friend who is a superman of a dad when his third child was born she was obviously of mixed race his white wife had an affair with a black man the wife also had substance abuse issues before this pregnancy and was no longer dependable or stable as a mother. So my friend immediately divorced her and took custody of the kids. All of them. He's been raising his 2 bo kids and the third child who isn't technically his for the past decade. She's his princess and he loves her exactly like the other two. Edited to answer a couple of questions. He is a straight man who has not remarried. He's done this all on his own, dated here and there, but nothing serious yet. He's too busy with three kids, full-time career, and a small business to run. Also, B.O. dad to the third child, waived his rights immediately when he found out about her birth. He was mom's dealer and their fling was a one-time thing that resulted in pregnancy. He had zero interest in fatherhood. Edited again to add, some people say how they could never raise another man's child, especially one that was a product of adultery, but you have to consider that my friend went through the entire pregnancy preparing for this baby that he thought was his. So he bought the baby gear, painted a nursery, went to the doctor appointments, etc. He was heavily invested in this baby before she was ever born. He already loved her and felt she was his, so it wasn't a big leap for him to take her on as his own. Okay story from a friend of my brother's. She worked as a nurse and a woman and her husband came in. They were both white and she delivered a child that was black. 
the husband immediately starts saying WTF while she is going on and on about dome and trays and everything. He orders a DNA test. While this is going on her mother and stepdad show up. The stepdad is black. After the testing is done, the DNA test ends up showing that the baby is the stepdad's. Her husband instantly dropped her and cut ties. Edit, in response to some comments. This didn't happen over the course of a couple of hours. Husband hung out, albeit reluctantly, until things were conclusive. Once testing showed it wasn't his baby, they tested the stepdad. Probably suspected something. I wasn't there I don't know the deeper details. This went from 0 to 100, to 1000 real quick. I got a weird one. My previous neighbor was a nurse, and delivered one where a buddy of mine was involved. A buddy of mine she knew came in with his gf who was in labor. My buddy was clearly not keen on having a kid, but the mother didn't want her abortion, and was madly in love with my buddy to a point that it was obsession. So the gf decided to keep it, in order to keep him around. The gf was proper paranoid, delusional and an abusive head case that made my buddy's life hell for 18 months. He was at the point where I genuinely thought he might just run away or slip into depression and kill himself due to this woman. She insisted it was his and was expecting him to either marry her or in her words to one of my mutual friends, if he won't love me, I'll just take him for all his money for the next 18 year. My neighbor said he looked like death while the baby was being deliverers in the room. The baby comes out, my buddy and the girl who are both of English slash Irish heritage looked and saw a Pacific Islander baby. Turns out the GF was sleeping with one of the local rugby players on the low who knocked her up. My neighbor said she has never seen someone who looked so emotionally and mentally broken do such a 180 in less than a minute. My neighbor looked back at him as he walked out of the room laughing maniacally with joy. Looked at my neighbor and said that's not mine. Thank duck I'm free. She said he was spotted dancing down the hallway to the exit. My buddy is doing okay now. He got a nice, smoking hot South African GF who he has been with for 3 years. They are looking to buy a house together and get married soon. His ex is now living with her parents in a small granny shack with a kid. The Pacific Islander baby daddy went MIA and last I heard is suspected to be hiding out on some island in his native Fiji. Can't blame the guy for leaving. And I personally hope he is never found. Not a doctor or nurse, but, related story. My twin boys were born, and second day in the hospital, a male nurse pulls me aside on my way to the cafeteria and confides in me that I should probably get a paternity test since the boy's blood type slash features slash other factors are so different to me. I immediately grabbed him by the arm, marched him into our hospital room, and confronted my wife. This man says these boys aren't mine, you dirty, cheating whore. My wife stared at me for a few seconds then burst out laughing. We had used a sperm donor, since I'm genetically sterile. I just wanted to see the look on the guy's face, lol, good times. TLDR, nurse told me my sons weren't mine. No duh, we used a sperm donor. Well. Somehow, I don't know why, the husbands are almost always first aggressive towards the doctor or nurse who presents the baby. Had a case that I will always remember. My first shift on gynecology. Late night, around 2300 hours, a woman comes, screaming and cursing, like there's no tomorrow. We check her, she was around 7 cms dilated, at 10, you can start the birth. We rush her to the birth room. Father is being lead into the waiting room which is also a library for new fathers, a lot of books with informations on firstborns, etc. Fast forward, woman gives birth, she goes into the recuperating room, husband goes to her, both are waiting eagerly for the baby to be presented. My boss, who was a sadistic mofo, hands me the baby and tells me to go present it. Did I forget to mention that the baby was black? Oh, and the mother was a snow white skinned redhead, and the father, well, blue eyes and blonde hair. There was absolutely no way I could justify that amount of melanin. I bite the bullet, take the little lad, and head off. I enter the room. The father is standing up. He sees that the baby is black. He looks at the wife, looks at the baby, looks at my face. My face tells him yes, there is no mistake here. 
He loses it. Weirdly enough, his anger is not focused on the wife, but on me and the baby. Two unlucky bastards who had nothing to do with the betrayal or any of that. The husband starts throwing newspapers and books at me and the baby, shouting get him away, that's a mistake not in a racist way or anything, the man was just in shock, and going with his back towards the wall, like a cornered animal trying to run away from a predator. But in this case, he was just cornered by a dreadful fact, the one that he is not the father. Me and the baby managed to escape with just a bruise on my forehead. Bibles travel faster than any other books through air. Sorry for the long post, just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Thank you for watching Ready Reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash ask Reddit videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.